Hello, beautiful people. Today we have a very interesting topic. You guys are going to want to stick around and watch. I promise you it's satisfying. So about three months ago, a video released of an intoxicated woman chasing around and harassing kids, which is a very big deal, but no one took it seriously. There was no charges against her, but finally, she is getting exactly what she deserves. Now, before we get into the video, I have to say that this is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if you do, that sucks because I am not a lawyer. Any information I have found is from online sources such as Westward, which are completely legal sources, and I'm just taking their statements and showing it to you. Anyway, now that we're done with the boring stuff, I can actually get into the fucking story. We are going to watch this video again and talk about a few things. This may not be the final video I do on the subject, considering everything still has to go to trial. So subscribe for future updates. She's not just chasing one kid around, she's literally changing targets midway through being mad. And if you're thinking by any chance what she's doing is justified, the incident happened on June 28th in the Shoemaker Plaza at Denver's Confluence Park. Romanski asked a group of young boys to stop skateboarding because it was upsetting her, though there are no signs of prohibiting skateboarding in the area, which means you are allowed to skateboard. That's exactly what that means. There's no sign saying no. Romanski claimed a skateboard went near her head, which prompted her to take an 11-year-old boy's skateboard and throw it into the water. The kid was not involved in the interaction, but his board was sitting on the ground nearby. So she basically got mad because she was drunk in public near a skate park and a skateboard went near her. And that prompted her to say, fuck you kid, and throw his skateboard into the river. Now, with all that you've seen so far, I just want to ask you guys a personal question. Do you guys think that she was the victim in this situation? Because her lawyer is saying that. Her lawyer, Richard Anthony Lucero, is saying that they plan to fight the charges. We feel that she was actually the victim of an assault by a gang of juveniles, and she defended herself. These young men just continue to harass her and threaten her. We look forward to defending the case in court. We can clearly see that she put her hands on the kid. He's trying to get away. Allison Parkins, the mother of a 13-year-old boy involved in the interaction, calls Romanski silly for fighting the charges. Which, yes, it is stupid because we saw you do it. Romanski has no sense of accountability, Parkins says. I want to believe it will be hard to convince the court that what she did was justified, but unfortunately the reality is she might get away with it. Now the reason I'm saying that is so absurd and ridiculous is because let's gender swap this for a second. Let's say that it was a 30 year old man versus a 13 year old girl. He would be arrested on the spot. There would be no investigation. It wouldn't even be questioned by a jury. The fact that she is getting away with it to this extent so early on, she's honestly hidden from this shit for like three months. Eight days ago from my recording date today is when Westward released this document. It's completely crazy that she's gotten away with it. Why has nobody done anything? And now her lawyers are trying to defend her. I mean, I know that's what lawyers do, but she clearly wasn't the victim. Right, we can all see that. Hey, 
this water bottle is more of a victim than her. And yet, she still tried to use it in court. She tried to sue the kid for throwing the water bottle in the river. Parkin says Romansky pressed charges against her 13-year-old son for tossing Romansky's water bottle in the river after Romansky threw the kid's skateboard in. The case against her son was dismissed on Thursday, September 12th, according to Parkins. Everyone was perplexed as to why he was even in there, Parkins says. They let us go within five minutes. Parkin's son is one of the boys Romansky is seen chasing in the video. It shows the teen confronting her for throwing the kid's skateboard in the river, at which point the woman runs towards him and screams, get the fuck out of here. He lifts his skateboard and thrusts it at the charging woman, but when he retreats, the woman sprints after him and another boy yelling, you want to see what I can fucking do. That's what I meant. She was switching targets. She wasn't even mad at one kid. She was mad at all of them for no fucking reason. <laughs> That clip kind of just shows that Parkins is right when she says that Romansky has no sense of accountability. She is deadass blaming the other kids for throwing the skateboard into the river. Anyway, this video was just an update to let you guys know that something is actually happening. Fucking finally. That's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And a very special thank you to Apollo the God. Thank you so much for subscribing, man. It genuinely means so much. And we've hit so many subscribers in the last month. I've gotten 500 subscribers in the last month, dude. 500. There are 500 new of you motherfuckers out there that are watching me for some reason. And I love